Okay. I would look for a fractional CFO. You got to get one because I know, I know the numbers that you're doing and the volume of dollars you're doing and where you're wanting to go. And I believe how fast you're going to grow. You're going to need it. One of the things that was damaging to us is we didn't get a fractional CFO until what was it? 2018. And it'd have been nicer if we did that in like 17, right? We were a year late. You know, we spent a lot more money doing more audited financials and a lot more cleanup than we needed to. I think you're starting to flirt in those numbers where you do that. And the cool thing about a contracted CFO, uh, is you're only paying them for the hours that they put in. I don't think you're nowhere near needing a full-time, but I think having a contract CFO that maybe the controller can go to that you have for five, eight, 10 hours a week max, right? Maybe that's a month. Maybe it's 12 hours a month to go over weekly reports a couple hours a week. It's not a bad way for them to navigate and get that thing done. And that will be efficient enough if eventually you want to raise capital or you want to do some, you know, mergers and acquisitions, or you want to do something with the business in order to do that, you know, maybe go get some debt where you got to make sure the books are flowing. And, and as much as I love controllers and trust me, I, I'm, I'm a big believer in being efficient in cost. You don't want to jump over dollars to save quarters and you'll be jumping over dollars to get quarters. If you're just thinking that way, which I've done, like, trust me, I'm like, oh, we don't need that. We don't need that. Then finally it was like, shit. All right, let's get a contract at CFO. Then we paid hours upon hours upon hours cleaning it up and then brought that person on full time. And then when we outgrew that person, when we were going to go public and we were advised by a lot of these companies, you need a better CFO. And I loved our CFO, great dude. We were just too big for him. I didn't make the move I should have. And that was also costly. Those are some of the mistakes I made along the way. I, that had nothing to do with our business closing, but it was a lot more headache and, and heartache of controls and things that we could have done to be even more efficient um, and maybe navigate a little bit better through some of those problems, right? So it's like, you've got to be able to, you know, when your business needs something, the business comes before any kind of personality relationship or anything. It's always about the business. That's That's number one. And so, you know, right now, if your controller is doing it, but you feel if you're already feeling like I need a little help, then you probably should get a contract at CFO.